Welcome to this short in-service presentation. In the next few minutes, we will become familiar with the Bubble CPAP delivery system. Always refer to the user instructions supplied with the product for a full list of instructions, warnings, contraindications and explanations. Let's now look at how to set up the humidification chamber, breathing circuit and Bubble CPAP generator with the MR850 humidifier. Let's start by identifying the components of the F&P Bubble CPAP delivery system. This is the humidifier. It has a control and display panel at the front, a heater plate and finger guard on top, and colour-coded sockets to connect electrical adapters and sensing probes on the side. This is the humidification chamber that holds water. It is filled from a rigid or flexible water bag through the water feed tube. This is the pressure manifold. It is designed to limit the pressure to 17 centimetres of water at 8 litres per minute. This is the breathing circuit. It carries humidified gas to the patient. It also carries the expired gas back to the CPAP generator. This is the CPAP generator. It maintains mean CPAP pressure. In this setup, you can see the breathing circuit attached to an infant interface. You can also see the oxygen blender and oxygen tubing used to complete the bubble CPAP delivery system. Start with the humidifier turned off. Gather the components required for setup, including the heater wire adapter, temperature and flow probe adapter, bubble CPAP delivery system and water bag or bottle. Open the bubble CPAP delivery system bag and take out the humidification chamber. Push down the finger guard and slide the humidification chamber onto the humidifier heater plate, making sure the aluminium base of the chamber slides under the guides on either side of the heater plate. The chamber should slide to the back of the heater plate until the finger guard springs back to place. There are blue port caps on the top of the chamber that hold the floats in place during transport. Pull up on the ring attached to these port caps, remove and discard them. Under the port caps there is a water feed tube holder. Unwind and remove the water feed tube. If you're ready to use the system immediately, hang a water bag on the water bag pole and spike the water bag. If you are setting up for future use, the water feed set holder can be used to protect and keep the water bag spike clean. Use sterile or distilled water. Do not use saline or any medicated fluid such as glucose. Using the fill funnel provided, fill the CPAP generator with sterile water until the water reaches the maximum level and flows into the overflow container. Set the CPAP probe to 10 centimetres of water, ready for the leak test. Ensure that the humidifier and bubble CPAP generator are below the patient. Connect the pressure manifold to the chamber inlet port. Connect the green oxygen tubing between the pressure manifold and the flow source. Connect the white elbow shaped connector of the blue corrugated inspiratory limb to the other port on the humidification chamber. Now let's connect the heater wire adapter and temperature and flow probe adapter. First let's connect the heater wire adapter. This adapter connects the heated inspiratory limb to the humidifier and provides energy to power the wire in the limb. The humidifier adjusts the energy delivered to the wire to maintain humidity and reduce condensate in the inspiratory limb. Connect the yellow plug to the yellow socket. The socket is both colour coded and keyed to the plug. You may have to turn the plug until it slides in easily. It should click into place. Connect the other end of the adapter shaped like a cloverleaf to the white socket at the back of the elbow connector on the inspiratory limb. Be careful to line the plug and socket up to avoid damage to the breathing circuit or adapter. Next, let's connect the temperature and flow probe. 
This adapter has a blue plug and is used to measure the temperature and flow of gas at the chamber and temperature of gas delivered to the patient. This information helps the humidifier control the chamber output temperature and the breathing circuit temperature to ensure optimal humidity delivery. Connect the blue plug to the blue socket. Again, this socket is keyed, so you may have to turn the plug to insert it. Again, it should click into place. Connect the temperature and flow probe to the port in the side of the elbow connector. The probe port includes a V-shaped notch corresponding to a V-shape on the probe. Line these up and push the probe firmly into place. Infant circuits use a friction fit. It is important for correct operation of the humidification system that the probe is lined up with the V-notch and inserted fully. Insert the temperature probe into the temperature probe port at the patient end of the inspiratory limb. Again, it is important for correct function of the system that the probe is inserted fully. You will notice that there is no blue probe plastic showing outside the circuit and the grey plastic is seated against the probe port. We have now set up the inspiratory limb. Connect the clear expiratory tubing to the top of the CPAP probe and set the desired CPAP pressure by pulling out or pushing in the probe. Connect the test flow elbow white connector to the inspiratory and expiratory limbs to obtain a closed system for checking air leaks. Once the elbow is in place, set the CPAP probe to 10 cm of water and the input flow rate to 1 litre per minute. Observe the CPAP generator. Gentle, audible bubbling is acceptable. No bubbling means unacceptable leakage. If no bubbling is observed, check the entire system. Remove the correct port cap from the pressure manifold before connecting any monitoring device. Turn on the flow from the oxygen blender. Adjust the flow rate to the prescribed input flow rate. Recommended flow rate 6 to 8 litres per minute. Allowable flow range 4 to 15 litres per minute. The number on the CPAP probe above the lid indicates the CPAP pressure in centimetres of water. As an example, the illustration shows CPAP setting of 6 centimetres of water. Set the CPAP probe at the prescribed level 3 to 10 centimetres of water. Remove the flow test elbow and connect the circuits to the infant interface using the instructions provided with the interface. Ensure there is airflow present before turning on the humidifier. Turn on the humidifier. If using the MR850, ensure it is on invasive mode, 37 degrees Celsius. Now you're ready to connect the interface to the infant using the instructions provided with the interface. Ensure that the system is running before connecting to the infant. We hope you've enjoyed this in-service presentation on the Fisher & Paykel Healthcare Bubble CPAP Delivery System. Please contact your local representative for further information about these or any other Fisher & Paykel Healthcare products or therapies or visit www.fphcare.com.